Hey friends, Wolf here. I hope you all have an amazing day. And in this video, I want to show you my deep research agent that I built using N8N. This agent is capable of conducting deep research studies for basically any topic you tell it to. And then it will provide a comprehensive PDF document and I can kind of show you what that looks like. So for example, this is one of the documents that the, the agent fully created. So it does have, you know, all this formatting and all of that. It's pretty comprehensive as well. And it creates this multi-page PDF, doc, uh, PDF document with uh, different chapters and then also appends all the references so you know what sources the agent used, right? And I want to give you a quick um, little demo tour how the agent works and then also show you guys the full workflow and how I built this, okay? So we're just going to test this workflow. And now the cool thing is we can either use voice or we can text. So I can also do a little voice message to just, um, you know, simulate how I would talk to this agent. Hey, please create a study regarding caffeine and the impact on sleep quality. So now, as you can see, the agent is already starting. It's super quick. Now it's uh, telling me, okay, I'm going to conduct a study now about what is the impact of caffeine consumption on sleep quality among adults. So it's kind of, you know, reframing the question a little bit to be even more precise. Um, now, if I want to have it um, on like different kind of side topics, then I can be more precise as well and uh, be like, hell for hey, for children or whatever. But I think this is pretty good. And why this is working, and this may take a few minutes now because it's conducting the full deep research now. I'm going to quickly show you how we do this. And we do this using the perplexity deep research, which is available via API, was introduced in February this year. It's an amazing tool in my eyes. And basically perplexity, I guess you guys have heard about it. You know, it's pretty cool. They do have uh, different models, the Sonar model mainly as their main family with also the Sonar reasoning models and then also the Sonar deep research model, you know, which as it says here, deep research conducts comprehensive expert level research and synthesizes it into accessible actionable reports. And we use that basically for our research. And then here you also have good overview in the, in the docs about the costs. I think it's, you know, pretty fair pricing, what it is capable of, 128k context length, for example, token length. Um, and we're using ex exactly that, right? And the study has already been done. So I will open this new study. As you can see, it only takes like a minute or two minutes. And now it's basically, you know, explaining me this whole caffeine chapter and all the sub chapters of all the cutoff times and, you know, how many hours I should need uh, for, you know, for, for good sleep. And um, well, it's pretty, pretty comprehensive to be honest. And then also giving me a conclusion. And then it's also giving me all these references that it used, you know, so I actually know what kind of sources and citations uh, were used here to conduct this research. And I think this is a super amazing agent. Um, as you guys can see, it's a pretty simple workflow. We could extend this uh, way more even and have it, you know, conduct like multiple sub researchers and and all of these iterations in addition so it would get like very very complex and it could also make like documents you know 5 10 20 pages i might actually do a tutorial on that as well to you know conduct like 20 30 page um, research studies just adding more depth to that but for now this is like the base level agent and i'm just going to walk through every every single step how i made this right so um, if you've guys seen some other tutorials, you know, I really like to work with Telegram agents and to kind of, you know, get started with Telegram. So we are getting started with this Telegram node here, which is really just, you know, a normal Telegram um, trigger here, waiting for a message. Then I have a quick auth check here. So it's comparing my Telegram ID. And if it is me, so if it's myself, right, I can just use the agent. And if it's anybody else, it's giving a simple message saying, hey, you're not authorized to use the bot. This is just a super simple, well, like level one kind of off level, uh, just hard coded into the workflow. So your bot is kind of private, you know, and only you can use it, which is kind of cool. And you can also add other IDs and then show it to friends, but it's only like limited access, you know? Well, then we do have a, the, the first switch note here and we are just switching um, whether there is a text message or there is a voice message. Now, if there's a text message, we are going to set the text variable here um, to then use it in our OpenAI model. And if it's a voice message, we are downloading the audio file here um, from Telegram. And then we are using the transcribe tool from OpenAI to actually get a super precise transcription of 
the set voice message and then also give that to the OpenAI model. So it's kind of like we've used in previous agents. Uh, we do uh, give the final prompt, which could, you know, um, be inherited from either the, the, the original text message or the voice message transcription. And this is basically what we want the agent to do, right? So um, now let me go into this here and just kind of let me do it like that. So it's well visible. This is kind of um, the prompt. I told the agent how it shall behave. And then I also gave it some examples and I'm also giving it some idea on the uh, output format in JSON. So basically, uh, we also have language support, by the way. So you can use this in multiple languages. For example, I've tested this in German and English and it works super nicely. So it will conduct the research in these languages and also the full PDF document. So it has multi-language support, which I think is also a huge benefit of this agent, right? Um, and it was kind of made um, for German and English, but you can easily add more languages to that, right? So yeah, that's what we do here. So um, this is basically the first OpenAI step. And then we set the language here, which is um, a little logic here, uh, which is, uh, you know, kind of um, deciding is this English or German, and then it's setting that um, variable that we can then use. It's giving me a quick confirm message. This is also not like the cleanest to, to do this in like one single statement here, but I didn't want to use a new code node. So I kind of like to just have these, um, you know, simple expressions here. So this is basically like a couple if statements in like one single expression, which is a pretty cool way um, to, to code this. And basically it's just giving me the confirmation message in either German or English, depending on the language I use. And then also using that language and uh, you can see it in English, also using that language that was previously set to conduct the full research, right? So the main magic happens here in this deep research um, node, right? Because we have this OpenAI model to kind of, you know, um, process the user's request and then kind of form a, like, you know, um, quality question request for that kind of based on the user's query. So as you can see, the this AI, this AI model here is kind of changing this a little bit to be even more precise and, and to have better results on the deep research level. And now here is basically the main magic. So we are talking to the perplexity API that I showed you guys here. And um, it's a pretty simple request. And basically it's also using this simple um, body payload. So we are talking to the deep research model um, from, from the Sona family, from perplexity. And then, well, this actually, uh, the system prompt I wrote in German could also be English, though it doesn't matter because we will use the language that we previously set. And that is why the study was fully in English now in this case. And as you guys can see here, you know, everything is in English. The sources are English and um, the, the, the full report is English. The PDF is English, right? Which is pretty cool. And then basically as the user um, message, we are just, you know, uh, kind of using the, the query that we pre previously set that, well, the, the AI model kind of refined. And then that's the language, which is super cool because it is official, um, officially supported by their API. We also set the language that we define, right? And well, this is basically coming up with this pretty long um, output. And all this basically is, you know, it's all the citations, it's all these tokens and all of that. So we can kind of, we kind of know how much usage and like cost we had and it's pretty, pretty affordable. And then here's like the full content. So um, funny enough, it also has this assistant role and it kind of tells us what the model is doing on like the reasoning level, right? So here we kind of hear the agents speak and say like, hey, okay, I need to take this query about the impact of caffeine, blah, blah, blah. So here we know how the model thinks, which is also pretty insightful. And then it's also giving us the full information what it came up with depending on all the sources it used, right? Um, so this is kind of both. So we also need to uh, like split that. And well, we do split that with this little code note here. It's also a pretty simple code, but very effective. So we basically take the full output and then we only grab what we want to have for the PDF creation and exclude the assistance way of thinking. And then here we talk to the um, API template API, which is pretty cool. And well, basically all this does is, uh, well, yeah, talk to the API 
um, put in the full content, uh, the research content that we um, kind of split using this code node, but it's like fully from the perplexity API. And then we create um, the PDF document with it. And there are many ways to create PDF documents by like code or by API. I feel like this is a pretty um, good and quick way of doing it. Just talking to API template, they do have uh, free quotas as well. So I haven't paid anything for, for this yet. And I've used this agent pretty extensively to be honest created like dozens of PDF documents so far, at least like 40 to 50 researchers that my agent has done and in, in different languages and it's always worked like a charm. And then the final step is we just sent this document, the PDF document uh, in Telegram. And yeah, this is pretty much the full workflow guys. So this is the full workflow. I know it's pretty, uh, pretty simple, but it's super effective to create, you know, these uh, full researchers and create like two, three page documents here. So for example, this um, this is only two pages, I believe this is only two pages, but this, for example, uh, one I um, conducted regarding creatine supplementation and gym performance. This one is a little bit longer, three pages and also has like all these scientific uh, researches and, and everything on like the body and, you know, uh, everything pretty much and then also 13 references attached and we we also know like where a certain reference is used so it's also telling us here you know this is reference whoops uh, this is reference one and five and then this is five and eight and this is one and five uh, eight and nine and so forth so we know exactly how this model thought and like the exact way of reasoning it used to come up with this result and with like this output right so yeah this is pretty much the agent guys um you can also put this in, in many different um well forms of communication so you could also connect this to to gmail to slack to discord bots to whatsapp bots to your own personal um agentic workflows all of that um i just kind of like to use these standalone uh, telegram bots because it's um very well structured uh, for me and yeah so you know, this is the full workflow. We just talk to Telegram, we support text and voice. Then we talk to the model to kind of refine the question, define the language, perform the deep research, which is like the main point here, this note, then kind of format the output, create the PDF, send it on Telegram. And that is how I built this deep research agent here, which conducts these amazing studies for me and then gives me the full study result uh, based, you know, on this research, re research question I gave it as a well-structured PDF with all the references. So this is the workflow, guys. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. It would mean the world to me uh, as I'm just starting this channel and, uh, well, basically, you know, providing you guys with a lot of no-code and code tutorials on all kinds of different agents, bots, workflows, and pretty much any type of automation to improve our workflows and make it more efficient. So if you guys have any questions regarding this workflow or anything else and also future video ideas, Feel free to comment. I'd be super happy to build more workflows with you guys. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much. And I see you guys in the next one. Peace.